long time no see, welcome back. As you can see from the title, I have been in Zurich on vacation for a couple of days. So we spent five days in total there. I came back on Monday, which is now two days ago. I will start with the items I got in Zurich, obviously. And the first one is a new perfume and it's from Joe Malone. And I decided on the English Pear and Freesia Cologne. And um, I'm someone who's really into the sweeter scents. So, um, oh, it smells so good. Let's spray it a little bit. Oh, it's sweet. It's, it's a mixture between flowers and English pear, so fruit, obviously. And um, it's still fresh, though. It's not like too overpowering, sickness, sicknessly sweet. Um, so I love this and what I love is that you can get it in those smaller bottles which are perfect for traveling. It's 30 mils I think, yes, one fluid ounce. Um, so 30 mils and I also like the size because I do have smaller perfumes as well, smaller in terms of only 30 mils or something, but they're so bulky that they don't fit for example in those little travel bags which you take with you into the airplane or they fit but nothing else fits and this is basically a bit bigger than a lipstick so perfect and if it fits into one of those travel bags it will definitely also fit into my handbag and this is where this will mainly go because I'm really bad in applying um, perfume in the morning I do forget it on a regular basis the next um, item is a makeup item and it's also a bit of a splurge but we don't have the brand in Copenhagen and I haven't been anywhere where you can actually get it so I had to get it here and I got a Tom Ford lipstick. I got the color 07 Pink Dusk and it was the first color which caught my eye on the display and then I started swatching them but I ended up liking this the most and I didn't buy it on Friday evening when I saw it first but went back the next day because I could just not forget about it and it is a lovely dusky nudie kind of pink right up my alley. I would love to swatch it for you right now but I want to take pictures for the vlog first so sorry about that but yeah it's it's a nude pink very lovely and yeah, I'm happy about it. Those two were my big splurge items. Then I got something for the soul. I got free Lush Christmas um, bath bombs. I got Christmas Penguin, the Snowman and the Melting Snowman. And especially this Melting Snowman is really cinnamony. And this one is the Penguin doesn't smell and the snowman smells sweet then I went to the duty free I ended up buying only three things the first one is the detox tea from Kuzmi which I didn't bring because it's in the kitchen and it's not makeup related so never mind um and then I bought a new mascara I actually have a travel size of one of the Yves Saint Laurent mascaras but I couldn't remember which one and I didn't want to just splurge on a mascara which is not the right one so instead I decided to try a completely new one and it's the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara which looks already very ugly because I touched it. I used it yesterday and I used it today and I'm, I'm not sure if I really like it. The problem is, well I love the brush because it's very similar to um, those, the, those the, the ones from the Essence Isle of Extreme. I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, which is my favorite one. Um, the downs downside of this one here is that it's very wet, which is always the thing with Clinique because I used, for years I used to use the high impact, the regular high impact mascara. I just recently ran out of my last um, tube. And I always had two of those at the like parallel because one of them was always the newer one which was still too wet to properly use. So I used it only in between and then I prefer, preferred the one which was already a bit dried up. So maybe this becomes a little bit better. It's just quite wet at the moment. So we will see. Could be worse though, but yeah. And the other item is a blush from MAC um because i am totally into everything berry colored and 
darker yeah, berry colors. And I decided on Breath of Plum and it's a lovely plum color. It's not limited edition or anything, so you can just get it. It's a sheer tone blush. It is pretty matte, no glitter, no whatsoever in it. And I think it's really nice, especially when you're very pale and then in the winter. And considering that I love my nude pinkish lipstick and lip products, I think this is just a very, very nice everyday color, um, which I'm not wearing today. Today I'm wearing Rocketeur, just so you know. Um, yeah, those were my items which I got in Zurich or on the way back, but I, I splurged on some items beforehand um, over the last couple of weeks though. The first item is a new foundation and it's the Luminous Silk Foundation from Armani, so many of you have been raving about. I don't really think it's a hype product, mainly because I think because it's out for quite a while. But I feel like every famous beauty blogger and blogger on YouTube, etc., has this in their collection and they call it like they're, they're, it's a staple item for them, so one of their favorites. So I decided I want to try it and um, I love it. It's very, very sheer, but it evens out your skin tone very nicely and I think that is often more important or, or better than, especially if you just have a few blemishes then it's easier to just even out your face, which hides the blemishes way better than covering it up, um, up with a heavy foundation. And it's very, not, it's matte with, while still being luminous and it holds all day. I mean, I wear it today and I've been out and running around since I applied my makeup at seven o'clock. It is now little after, no, a little before seven at night so um 12 hours and i still look fine i think at least and um yeah definitely definitely like it it's not like yeah i wouldn't like hype it hype it but it's it's a really really nice and solid product you can rely on and it doesn't give you the flashback and everything because it doesn't have spf in it so really nice foundation then i got some new primers the first one I got is a primer I got because of my spots on my forehead and I think you should be able to see them also especially because of the new lighting and now uh, and everything and the first primer I bought they're all from Smashbox is the photo finish dark spot correcting primer oil free and it's white um, the inside is also white it's a cream and it's supposed to do two things it's supposed to help you in the short term and in the long term. Short term, um, even out your face, hide to hide the bl uh, not blemishes, to hide the spots, and then in the long term to make them fade as well. And in the short term, I can say that it does help. Yes, you do, do see the spots now, but you see them now. You didn't see them as much this morning. Um, I applied this at, at around seven o'clock and they started reappearing somewhere between two and three o'clock. First, I wasn't sure because I bought those two products at about the very same time and started using them together. So I wasn't sure if it's maybe the foundation breaking down in the afternoon. So I went and um, tested it with two more products for five days in a row each. And I had the same occurrence with all products. So um, this does the trick, unfortunately not all day, which is fine. Um, I still do like it a lot. Long term, make the spots fade, I have no idea. I'm not kidding myself. I probably would need to go to the doctor and need some kind of treatment. I don't know, laser or whatsoever. Um, I know you can help with products to make them fade more, um, but obviously that also takes a month. So we will see about that one. And then I got two more primers because I love this one so much. and. Um, the other one I got, and I just got them last week, so um, about the next one I'm showing you, I can't really tell you anything yet. Um, it's the new Blemish control, control Primer from Smashbox, and it has salicylic acid in it. I hope I pronounced it right. It's that stuff which helps prevent pimples and which helps to heal pimples. And um, 
Miss Glamorazzi switched to this primer because she has, I think, very oily and acne prone skin. But like I said, I, I just bought this last Wednesday, so I, I didn't use this yet at all. Which one I used, which I bought together with this one because I thought, oh, that's perfect for traveling, is this cute um, little trial size. And it's the light version of their original photo finish primer. And this is really great as well. Um, this one does the trick with the spots. It does also make my makeup last longer, but it's not like it doesn't help too much against oily skin. And this one does. And you, you can apply it in two ways. You either apply it and right away afterwards apply your makeup. And then um, it really helps to, it's really moisturizing in the first moment. Or you apply it and wait a few minutes. And then you can really tell that it's already like doing the, the oil-free trick and um, however it becomes a bit hard to apply your makeup after, like if you wait too long because it's, it makes your skin, not dry, but yeah, it absorbs the oil in a way. So, um, but I really do like this as well and it's perfect for traveling the little size. So I, I want to try it and it was on offer and I got 20% student discount, so I took them all. Um, then I got two new serums and the first one is also to help against my dark spots and it's also a product Miss Glamorazzi is using, however I bought it just because I wanted to try it. And it's the Dr. Andrew Weil for Origins Mega Bright Skin Tone Correcting Serum, which I apply only at night because I use the dark spot correcting primer in the morning. And I use this but only in the upper half of my face, mainly on my forehead and around my eyes where I actually need the skin tone corrector. If this really helps, I don't know, but I thought, okay, hey, it's fall now, I'm not exposed to sun as much anymore, let's just try to use some products, um, maybe it makes a difference. But like I said, I'm using this since around four weeks maybe, so I have weeks to go until I will probably see a difference. I thought last week I would, like I saw a difference, but then this week I think the spots became worse again. The other serum I'm using is a new one from Origins as well, and it's from their Make a Difference Plus line, which is my favorite skincare line anyway. It's my favorite moisturizer, which I'm using every morning. And they now have a rejuvenating serum, and this one I'm using in the morning. I love it, especially in combination with the moisturizer, because they just work perfectly together. So this is perfect. The only little complaint I have, it smells not as nice. You can smell the Jerusalem Artichoke, but it smells a tiny little bit moldy, like old basement kind of moldy. So I was a bit disappointed about the scent. But anyway, last two items. Estelle from Essie Button, who's one of my favorite YouTubers and also bloggers, though I don't read her blog that often. I, I really prefer her, her YouTube videos. She talked of makeup brush she bought and I love it. And it's the mineral powder brush from Sephora, the number 45. And um, as you can see, I used it for blush. It is very, very similar to the Real Techniques buffing brush. If you hold them next to each other, they're almost identical, except that this is a bit more dense, but only a tiny bit. What I, The buffing brush from Real Techniques is one of my all-time favorite brushes. What I don't like is that you can only buy it in the core set, and I don't want to buy another core set because I'm only using two out of the four brushes from that set, so why would I buy another set? It's stupid. Now I have an alternative and I will definitely repurchase like, or not repurchase, but I will buy one or two more of those because they're amazing. You can use them for powder, for like face powder, for blush, for highlighter, for contouring, for liquid foundation. See, it's such a multitask brush and I love it. Last but not least, one of my favorite purchases of the last weeks. It's a hair product and it's from Bumble and Bumble, which is my favorite hair care, hair care brand, as you know. And it's from their thickening line, which is the line I use to use anyway. And it's a new spray and it's their dry spun finishing spray. This one here. Um, from the name you can tell that it's, well, dry spun, it's it's kind of like a dry shampoo without having the stickiness of a dry shampoo. I'm a big fan of the Batiste 
dry shampoo, the volume one, which I'm wearing right now because I just was in a rush and I had this one on the tail and I couldn't find it and I forgot that it was standing here already. So I used the Batiste dry shampoo just to ump up my hair a little bit and the Batiste dry shampoo, the volume version, does the trick with volume. However, dry shampoos spray liquid powder on your hair to soak up the excess oil. Um, which leads often to a slightly sticky feeling, which I have with a Batiste product. It's okay for me because usually I just use it um, when I go out and then I know I do shower afterwards anyway. But it's not the most pleasant feeling. I prefer my hair to feel fluffy but still be volume vo volume volumized, volumized, volumized. And this is what this does. This is basically you take up the hair and while you let it fall down, you spray into the falling, 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 falling hair. And um, it kind of feels like you're like blowing air with a blow dryer into your hair. And then you get a bit of volume through, like because of that. And that volume stays. It's, it doesn't give as much volume as the Batiste dry shampoo. I have to admit that, but it gives a nat more natural finish to your hair. It leaves your hair fluffy while still giving a nice amount of volume. And that's what I love. Like having volume but my hair still feeling like my hair. That is so important to me. And this is what it does. And I have used it but it's still quite full because it's, it is expensive. That is definitely the downside. But I love it. And Anna from Viviana Does Makeup compared the Oreep spray, volume spray, which is basically similar to this one um, with this product. Price-wise, the Oreep one and the Bumble and Bumble one are almost the same. The Oreep is a bit more expensive but also has a bit more product inside, um, whereas this one's a bit cheaper but also has less product inside. So price-wise, there's no difference. She said that the Oreep is a bit stronger but also nicer for thicker hair and this one is nicer for thinner hair. So perfect for me and I love it and yeah, I'll keep on using this one. And that was it. That was my major haul. I actually have a few. I have like I bought some eyeshadows from MAC which I didn't even show you. Um, yeah, I hope you like my little purchases. If you have any questions, recommendations, comments, whatsoever, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you and um, stay tuned because I will film a lot over the next couple of days using my new light and the free weekend um, lying ahead of me. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!